right behind me in Half Moon Street, just off Curzon Street, still in Mayfair, about five minutes walk from where we started in Berkeley Square. Um, there's a, a house containing a, a two bedroom flat I, I lived in when I was 24 years old and working as a croupier for a casino in Curzon Street, which we'll visit very, very soon. But the flat was quite cheap by Mayfair standards to rent, but uh, I used to get phone calls all day from a real gruff sounding guy threatening to kill me. And this was eventually kind of drove me out. It turned out the, the flat belonged to a, 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 a writer who'd written a book about the, um, the, the uh, James Hanratty murder case. He, he killed a, a couple in a, in a lover's lane somewhere and was one of the last people to be hanged uh, before capital punishment was ended in, in the later 60s. Um, and the writer had written a book saying that actually the wrong man was hanged, uh, not an uncommon occurrence, and, um, and named the guy who was phoning me, thinking I was a writer, and threatening to kill me. Well, there's only so much, it wasn't so much the idea of being killed, I mean, that, you know, I was too young to believe that would happen, but I worked at night, and this guy would phone at nine o'clock in the morning. And croupiers don't do nine o'clock in the morning. There's only one nine o'clock in a day for a croupier, and that's nine o'clock at night. Um, so after a while, I, I, I effed, effed and blinded back down the phone and, and, and moved out.